Now continuing our Education Watch 10 team coverage, one prominent educator stopped in the Wabash Valley today. Newston's John Swanner is in the studio tonight. John, you talked to Indiana's First Lady Karen Pence. Set the scene for us. Well, Rondrell, it didn't take long for the First Lady of Indiana to make her official, first official visit to this part of the valley. And Karen Pence says all of our Indiana counties can expect a visit from her between now and the state's bicentennial. Superintendent Danny Tanoose welcomed Indiana's First Lady Karen Pence to her morning visit to Franklin Elementary School. And Franklin was buzzing with anticipation of her visit. It's truth be told, I do this so that I can get into the classroom a couple times a week. All kidding aside, the former educator says schools from across Indiana can expect visits from her during the next four years. How many groups of third grade do you have? And if she seems especially comfortable in the art room, that's because Pence taught art in the Columbus area. It was pretty neat to see the kids making uh, flowers out of clay that they're then going to glaze. Mrs. Pence also pointed out how great it was to see artwork from entire classes adorning the walls of Franklin Elementary. Now, while she won't talk policy on her visits, Mrs. Pence shows that she'll be a strong advocate of keeping the arts in Hoosier schools. She volunteers with Riley Hospital's art therapy program and sees firsthand how kids express themselves through art. So if you take that concept and just put it in an, an everyday classroom, you can see how much it helps these kids to have one area where they can go in and really express themselves where they don't have to be verbal. Mrs. Pence is also Indiana's ambassador for the state's bicentennial coming up in 2016. She says this will bring her to every Hoosier County in the state. So expect to see a lot of Karen Pence here in the Valley in the future. Back to you. Thank you, John. Now, coming up tonight on News 10 Night Watch, News 10's Matt Gregory is following I-STEP scores across the state. Yes, he will have details on a new report that's out this week. Find out how schools in the Wabash Valley are stacking up tonight at 11, 10 Central on News 10 Night Watch.